Today I am rebuilding Ajax with only regens. So what that means is we can only sign them. We can't sign real players, but we can keep the real players that were already in the squad. Like Joral Hato, who is probably going to be here for the rest of his career because he is a very good player and has loads of potential. And Kenneth Taylor is the exact same who I think, yep, came through the Ajax Academy because we will also be using that as they have superb training facilities, excellent youth, excellent academy and excellent youth recruitment. So that is what we're going to be doing. So as you can see, we have made zero transfers because these were done before I got here. So they're all just already done in real life. As you can see, we'll take a look at the squad. Sorted by ability, we have people like Sievert Manswerk, Stephen Bergwijn, who's going to play on that left wing, uh, Jordan Henderson. So this is why I'm walking in Kenneth Taylor and Manswerk, because without them in there, Jordan Henderson will always play in there. And it's annoying. Jordan, he'll take over but I'm pretty sure he's going to be playing DM for us that is what's going to be our striker option is going to be Brian Brobby this season and Devine Wrench is going to be playing right back on complete wing back uh, he doesn't need to be locked in but I would like it more in the development centre we have the B team with so many players with such high potential like Banel, Benida, Rykov, Venk, Butera, who signed this season from Anderlecht only for 1.3 million. And then you go to the under 18s, and there's just the same amount of great players everywhere. So, this is going to be a fun little rebuild where we only use regens. So, I'm going to get into the next season and we'll show you the youth intake and how we got on. So we've gotten to the end of season one. Oh, I didn't mean to press that. But as you can see, we have finished in second place. If we go look at the profile, Brian Brobby had 17 goals um, and nothing else really went our way. But we did only lose four games and we only got 74 points. It was the draws that really hurt us this season as Feyenoord finish on 86 points but we do get Champions League football so as I said we'll show you our youth intake we had players like Kemi Ogenia who I actually locked I've locked in already but it doesn't really matter but <laughs> he looks great as a DM a deep line playmaker he is what we'll be trying to get into the team Mats Van Rossum maybe our new right back at complete wing back he could definitely do the job uh, Lee Hang I don't know if he'll make it we have a lot of great wingers here already and then players that aren't as good going there like a Scottish player Willis Nesbitt he's Estonian as well so we have a lot of good players but maybe two that stick out to me and as you can tell Ogenia is going to be the main man at this point in the rebuild transfer wise we're going to check I did not do any transfers in this season so that's good competition wise we were in the Europa League I did not realize that we were knocked out by Real San Sebastian we did beat Union saint joie in the playoff round. And then we'll go to look at the group stage where we finished in second after finishing just behind Slavia Prague. That looked like an alright little group that we could have won, but obviously not. In the Dutch Cup, we also finished in second, finishing behind PSV with two of our players getting top goal scorer and having joint top clean sheets so PSV have now won that three times in a row and we're going to try and take that off them later in the rebuild 
maybe in this next season. So, into season two, maybe a transfer if we can find a regen out there, but probably not. Here we are, season two is underway. We have got 10 points from four games. Let's take a look at what we've done. We beat Vitesse 5-0, drew 0-0 with PSV, won 7-3 against Groningen, and 2-1 against AZ. We are also in the Champions League this season. So we have Copenhagen, Man United, Benfica, Stuttgart, Celtic, Marseille, PSG and Atletico Madrid. We can maybe win three games in there. I'm not too hopeful because of course we are locking in a regen in season two and he's not really developed at all. But he is looking good. He has improved, I think, over the course of these four games he's played in his career. And he's actually done really well with a 6.88. So we'll take another look at the transfers, as I did not sign a single person. Did we... Apparently we sold 5 million, and the, all the other transfers are gone now. <laughs> what? And we sold Owen Weindahl for 15 million. Uh, he maybe could have been good. But Joral Hattel is going to play there now. Silvano Voss. Who he sold to West Ham. As he was not going to develop into a player. Into our squad. And we loaned out the rest. To get some improvements out of them. So into this next season. And hopefully we can reclaim the league title. And what a sad sad end to the season that is. 89 points and we lose the league on two goal difference. Two goal difference. Wow. We lost one. We actually lost two games less as we beat Viner twice. But we lost one game. It was the draws again. The draws are hurting us. And we lose the title out on two goal difference. Wow. <laughs> That's actually really sad but we will go look at our youth candidates maybe there's some good ones I'm not like no look at this Lichvot is maybe our best one as a cam we'll take a look at our tactics you can see I had to lock in all midfielders because Jordan Henderson was trying to get on the pitch. He actually played 15 starts, which was at the start of the season. But Kenneth Taylor needed to be locked in with Sievert Mansberg, as they are very, very good. Let's look at Ogenia and how he has improved. And you can really, really start to see how good this guy might get. He's got 16 vision, 19 technique. That was 18 last season. 19 determination. This guy is getting it all. His passing's increasing. His first touch, the whole lot, is getting better, and he's only 16. We have to remember that as he's getting into such a great player. Transfer wise, still no signings by us. As you know, we are not allowed to do that. But maybe there are some regens out there that we are looking for. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to get into the next season and then we'll see if we signed any regions because they usually spawn in <laughs> around this season. We have started season 3 very well. We've scored 12 goals and conceded none. We'll take a look. We actually did lose the Super Cup to Feyenoord but we've won 4-0 against Groningen. 3-0 against Camber, 3-0 against Falwick and 2-0 against Go Ahead Eagles doing very well. Let's look, see if we actually made any transfers this season. There was one transfer, Jose Antonio Montero, who's a midfielder that we have loaned back to Atletico Madrid's youth team. And he looks very good as well. He's more of an attacking midfielder. But we, we're going to try and make him play that central midfield attack role that we've got in the tactic. 
and players we're locking in this season. We've got Sky Vink who came through the Ajax Youth Academy and he's going to be a very good striker. We have Van Rossum who we are going to try improve at right back who looks like he could be great at 17 and Ogenia who is still a young man trying to improve his football career. So with that we'll take a look at the Champions League fixtures where we have Newcastle, Copenhagen, Chelsea, Paris Saint-Germain, Atletico Madrid, Legia, Slavia Prague and Borussia Dortmund where we could possibly make a run out of that group or fixtures. So let me get to the end of the season where we will try and win this title finally. So the season's done and again we have lost out on goal difference by one. With 87 points we have lost out by one goal difference at the end of the season. After having the same record we just didn't have enough goals and that is a terrible thing to happen. We don't even have a player in the top goal scorers. Feyenoord had Neymar. I mean, you just can't compete sometimes. And we tried our hardest with 20 clean sheets. That's a lot of clean sheets. What the hell? Okay. Jarl Hato, we can see he's becoming a world class player. As we go to look at um, selection info. We can see what players have been doing well. Sky Vink with 27 goals in his first season for us. He's very good. Stephen Bergeron with 16. Conte Cal with 9. Brian Brobby from the bench. Got 7 goals. He's not happy with his bench. And but he's going to have to deal with it. Assist wise. Kenneth Taylor on 15. Bergeron on 12. Mansverk on 11. And Mats Van Rossum on 5. He is improving. That's great to see. And how about Kemi Ogenia? Also improving. We are getting a much better showing from our youth players. As we go to look now, Patrick Boonstra is the best player from this intake. And he can play in right wing, cam and striker at great ability. He's natural in all of those positions. I'm going to check our transfers. Maybe there was a transfer. There was in the 3rd of January. Matias Bello. A, a goalkeeper, sorry. From Uruguay. We loaned him back to Defensor Sporting. And he is getting much better. And he is going to be our starting goalkeeper, I think, next season. We'll take a look at how Jose Antonio Montero is doing. He's actually broken his leg and couldn't finish the season with the Atletico Madrid youth team but hopefully he'll be fine for coming back to us. Competition wise, knocked out in the playoff round by Inter Milan on penalties. How do we do in the league phase? Finished in 10th place after winning 4 games against Slavia Prague, Atletico Madrid, Copenhagen and Newcastle. Drawn against Borussia Dortmund and Legia. And then losing to Chelsea and PSG. But with that is another unsuccessful season. We'll get to the next season and hopefully we can try and win a league in that season. So guys, season four is underway. And we have played a lot of games. Our last four, not doing too well. But we did beat Sparta Prague, Willem, and then Sparta Prague again, going through into the next round of the playoff, where we had Sturm Graz and we lost 5-1 on aggregate. But in between that, we played against Camber 1, lost to Excelsior, and then lost to Utrecht, and are now starting to bounce back with a 4-0 win against the Grafschap. But in the Europa League, we have Fiorentina, Krevna Zvezda, Servet, Maccabi, Tel Aviv, Eintracht Frankfurt, Bilbao, Lugano and Hajduk. So hopefully we can <laughs> maybe win the Europa League. That seems like an easy run into the knockouts. 
and that should propel us, I think. So, transfer-wise, I believe this season we signed Regens. We spent 38 million, but we also sold 41. We sold Brian Broby, Geronimo Rulli, and Precious Uglu. And then we also sold 1.6 million more, but they were just on loan fees. So let's look at these players. Gerard Ritzema came in from Groningen, and he is just here to make up the numbers. He didn't look that great, but he was Dutch, he was cheap, and we will try and develop him. And a great player was Milton Lettieri from Argentina. He can play on that left wing or the right. Or even at left back, he can play all the way down there. And he, his physicals are going to increase massively. He's going to be a great player in the future. Already at three stars in this role, I think we play on the left. But he's going to play on the right. We're training him to play on the right. Okay, he looks great. Matias Estrada. And another Argentinian, this time a striker who looks great but I think we are going to loan him out you can see he looks all right there and it was seven million pounds next up was Massimo Longhi for eight million pounds from Hellas Verona we loaned him back there but he does look like a great center back for the future and hopefully will develop well and now Mamadou Gilvogi, maybe the one I'm most excited for. The 17-year-old Belgian was really excited to join us. But we decided to loan him back to Zult Vorigem. As this is where he could develop really well from the game time in that first division of Belgium. Where he's actually leading them to a fifth place finish. And he looks great. He looks great. So hopefully he'll come back and be a great player for us. And those are the transfers we have done. We can see here how we're lining up. We've got Bellow in goals who will develop greatly. Van Rossum at right back. Eugenia at DM. And Montero, our Atletico Madrid signing. The Spaniard in at centre mid. Thierry also on the right. Well, oh, oh no, we've already been through our fixtures, haven't we? Yes, we have. So, we'll get into the next season. Or, sorry, we'll finish this season first before we do that. And then we'll see if we can actually win this league for once. So, season four has come to an end right there. And there is a name on the screen you won't recognise that is Luke Warrington who we signed from Watford for 15.5 million he is a good old player he scored 16 goals for us as an 18 year old and we signed him in January so we had to bring that up in the league we only managed to finish 5 points behind Feyenoord another bad little season and it's the second last we've not won a league title yet we've not won a league title yet there was another transfer that i needed to say about it was fetty benzarti who we brought in to play cam but lettieri got injured so we're playing him out on the right he is extremely good an extremely good player who could play anywhere on the park competitions time we were knocked out in the semi-final by Galatasaray 4-3 on aggregate let's look at the league phase where we finish in 8th which one of 5 games it was expected that we would get out of that we're in a 16 where we went 5-1 we beat Asavel on penalties and then of course we got knocked out by Galatasaray. So, with that, oh, we actually won the Dutch Cup. 3 1. That's great. Who's this guy? 8.7. Ah, oh, it's a D rating. Never mind. 
but with that we'll move into the next season and hopefully, hopefully we finally can make the transfers to win the league title. Okay and season 5 is here and we've started off really well. We've beaten Feyenoord in the Super Cup and won the trophy. We have beaten Austria Vienna twice to win 6-1 on aggregate. Been Hercules Al Almero. Been Sparta Rotterdam, Hernveen and AZ. But we did lose on aggregate to RB Leipzig after getting a man sent off in the away leg. But we did beat Adel Den Haag and Utrecht. And are now in the Europa League with Galatasaray, Sturm Graz, Lugano, Celtic, Liverpool, Shakhtar, FC Rapid and Antwerp. So hopefully we can make it out of that. Transfers then. Let's look at the transfers we did. We signed Mauricio Alfonso, a Colombian central attacking midfielder who will play alongside Ben Zarti, but we did sell 125 million worth of players. Players like Steven Bergwijn for 50 million, Consacal for 34 million, Sky Vink for 12, Carlos Borges for 10. Just a lot of players. A lot of players leaving. And then we did bring in Alp Chetankaya from Bronby, the Danish midfielder. Is he also Turkish? Yes, he is. We're going to play him at centre back. And Ignacio Jaquinto was brought in as a backup midfielder or centre back. So, we'll take a look at our tactic. This is what we're doing. Luke Warrington up front. He's not really developed that well. We got Benzarti locked into that shadow striker role because we've changed the tactic to look like this. Be more attacking and hopefully we can go all out and win the league. Gila Vogi, who came back from loan, is going to be locked in on the left hand side, hopefully providing loads. Jose Antonio Montero developed massively last season and is now going to be our central midfielder on support going through this channel. Uh, Kemi Ogenia has developed but he looks like he might have reached his full ability. I'm not too sure guys but he'll be playing deep line playmaker. We have Van Rossum who's not developing as fast as maybe I'd like but he might get there and he looks good as well. Bell Ingalls, who we all know, is going to improve massively. He is great. He's great. We have other young players in the team. We'll get rid of the selection info. Players like Lettieri, who is also a great player, who will be back up this season because we want Gilavogi to develop. Massimo Longhi, who is okay. Uh, Joral Hato, who's going to be our left back looks great but of course we are in the Europa League this season so we're gonna have to see how that goes for us all right I'll see you in the last end of a season in this Ajax regens only rebuild I know it was short but you know we've got to make a lot of videos there's not a lot of time to turn around these things so yeah <laughs> and finally we have won a league title finally with 90 points after drawing zero games we got rid of the draws finally that's what we've been trying to do and turned them into wins with 30 wins and four losses we'll ignore the four losses and go over here we had Fetty Benzarti look at the development he's had he's world class in that shadow striker role he's great what player he was the best player in the league he scored the most goals Matt's Van Rossum down there, improving a lot as well. Matthias Bell kept the most clean sheets at 18, a world class goalie as well, could get much better. Competition wise, we have won one, two, three, four. We won the quadruple. The quadruple. We beat Liverpool on penalties 1 1. Um, With Hlinson, I think he's. An Icelandic player, yep. 
winning us the game <laughs> on penalties. He, was, he actually scored the only goal that we could score as well. How did we do the rest of the time? We finished 5th place. Got AZ. Beat them 4-1. Eintracht Frankfurt beat 3-2. And then beat Club Rouge 2-0 on aggregate. And then we got to the final, of course, where we won it. In that, that's the that's the first cup. This is the cup. We beat AZ on penalties as well. So we're just beating everyone on penalties apart from in the league where we did it on 90 points. Let's look at some of the players and what they've achieved. 22 goals from Fetty Benzarti. We can see how good he is. Matias Estrada went out on loan to Preston and has developed massively scoring 22 goals as well. Luke Warrington got 21 but really hasn't developed as a striker. There's Kenneth Taylor from midfield. Got 17 and 12. Gila Vogi got 16 and 13. I think we'd have to go further into the seasons to see this guy get as good as he could be. Uh, Milton Lettieri great player could still get better as well Mauricio Alfonso maybe did not have the season he wanted with 7 and 13 could have done better I think uh, Jarl Hato maybe my favourite player <laughs> although he's not even the regen you know uh, Jose Antonio Montero could become absolutely world class but again like Gilavogi we'd have to keep going further but we can see how well he's developed. His stats are ridiculous already. Uh, Alp Chetankaya again. One of those players would have to go further to see, but he looks great. And the man who started it all, Kemi Ogenia, could definitely become world class if we stick to it. Here is anticipation, composure, decisions, positioning, vision, passing, first touch. He's great. He's a great player. But again, this is where we are ending the rebuild. So I want to say thank you guys for watching. This is maybe my best rebuild. I really like the sign in the regens, you know. But yeah, if you liked the video, like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.